The World Health Organization declared an end to the COVID-19 emergency, signaling that one of the most deadly and economically devastating pandemics in modern history is receding as the disease that caused it becomes a routine illness. COVID-19 is here to stay, but the pandemic has been in a downward trend for more than a year because people around the world have built up immunity to the virus, the WHO said on Friday. Mortality has decreased, and there is less pressure on health systems. The trends have enabled most countries to return to pre-pandemic life, even as COVID-19 continues to spread. It's therefore with great hope that I declare COVID-19 over as a global health emergency, said WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus. The end of the emergency doesn't trigger changes in government funding or services, said Lawrence Gostin, faculty director of the O'Neill Institute for National and Global Health Law at Georgetown University, who has advised the WHO. But it marks a long-awaited milestone, the biggest sign yet that the pandemic is reaching a new stage after more than three years of tragedy and deprivation. The Biden administration is investing $5 billion to speed development of more effective vaccines and treatments for coronaviruses, 